welcome to exot nursing academy today we are going to discuss one topic of uh, psychiatric nursing Th that is for bsc gnm post basic nursing students so i am preparing video for uh, anatomy and physiology of brain including limbic system this is include uh, video include all these points so without wasting time uh, we will disc start discussing anatomy and physiology of brain today's topic so according to introduction the human brain is the most complex and highly organized structure of the body so our human brain is the most complex structure and it is a um, highly organized structure of our body because it contains so many uh, things so this organ allow us to think but our brain uh, how it works and uh, what are the things we are able to do with brain kya kya cheeze hum dekhte hain brain se that is we can able to think we can able to move we can able to feel see hear taste smell everything the command only comes from our brain first so it controls our body ye hamari body ko control bhi karta hai receives analyze and stores information so where our information is stored it's all uh, stored in the brain so this is the structure of brain i think so everyone knows this is a frontal lobe area right lobe at the back it's a occipital lobe this is a back region okay so in between there is a temporal region at the end it is a cerebellum so cerebellum so starting with the frontal lobe we will discuss the location of the frontal lobe first and then we will discuss the roles of the frontal lobe uh, what are the roles or functions Uh, frontal lobe area will play first is location that is in the frontal bone of the skull that means this area of our brain frontal area frontal area of our brain inside brain it is known as frontal lobe so uh, what are the functions of frontal lobe first is memory formation where our memory will be formed and emotions they are able to control our emotions decision making reasoning and personality so all these functions uh, it is operated by uh, in a area that is known as frontal lobe so next is the parietal lobe just at the back of the frontal lobe this is frontal lobe na as we seen in the previous slide this color is of frontal lobe so next this is the next area means this area this area of our brain this is known as parietal lobe so the main functions of parietal lobe is intelligence language reading sensation so these are the functions of parietal lobe now we are moving to the temporal lobe temporal lobe functions are temporal lobe where it is this is frontal this is parietal so these areas this is temporal regions so in the temporal lobe uh, is primary function is behavior our hearing memory speech this all things are controlled in our temporal lobe area cell so next is occipital at our back occipital area so it is basically responsible only that the main only one function is there that is vision we are able to see we are uh, able to see by the help of occipital lobe so at the last that is cerebellum so the cerebellum just uh, this is a brain stem and the cerebellum so cerebellum is responsible for the balance and coordination of our whole body how our whole body is coordinated and balance is maintained uh, whatever function we are doing so that is by the control of the cerebellum last is brain stem which is next connected to the our this is brain stem area which is connected to our spinal cord afterwards so the main primary function of this is blood pressure uh, regulation our breathing consciousness and regulation of our heart beat so blood pressure regulation breathing consciousness and our maintaining of our heart beat so this is the main functions and the functions uh, structural fu uh, functions according to the structure uh, we are dividing our brain in the lobe areas so next after completing this we are moving to the limbic system 
सो लिम्बिक सिस्टम इज अ सिस्टम विच यू नीड टू लर्न अबाउट इन यूर साइकेट्रिक नर्सिंग because it is basically coordinated with our mood disorders emotions everything is regulated under this so this is the inside brain it is there so we will start discussing limbic system so a complex system of nerves in the brain what is limbic system it is a complex system of our nerves in the brain involving several areas near the edge of the cortex concerned with the our mood which is basically working for our mood it controls the basic emotions hamare jitne bhi basic emotions hain sare kahan se control ho rahe hain limbic system se control ho rahe hain so this is a very common question in psychiatric nursing so this is the structure of limbic system so the inside area this is green uh, area you are able to see this is the this all area is known as our limbic system thalamus is there inside hippocampus uh, amlongata and uh, hypothalamus these are the structure areas which we have to see in the limbic system so what are the function of limbic system so always come in the exam what, what are the functions of limbic system or short note of the, uh, on limbic system so what are the main functions first function is behavioral function so behavioral function means the action or the reaction to any organism uh, usually in reaction to the environment hum environment ko dekh ke jo bhi reaction show karte hain whatever the behavior we are doing that is known as our behavioral function for example uh, i am uh, simple hum road pe ja rahe the we saw any accident theek hai aur uh, something is happening so how we will react to that thing that is known as our behavior okay means that is our behavioral function means on the environment how we are reacting or the behavior in a particular at a particular time for example your behavior in your classroom in your uh, at your home that is a behaviors so how we are reacting whatever the things coming to us that is known as our behavior second is emotional function the mental stage and the physiological state associated with a wide variety of feeling thoughts and behaviors means mental and physiological state what we are doing what are, how we are variety of feelings we are having variety of thoughts we are having how we are behaving that is known as our emotional function ye sare kya hai hamare physiological state hai hamari mind ki and that is known as our emotional functions ki hum kaise emotions apne show kar rahe hain what are the feelings we are having what are the thoughts we are having according to that feelings and thoughts we will perform our behavior okay so that 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 is the second um, function now we are moving to the third function that is a motivational function motivational function means the set of reasons that determines one to engage in a particular behavior means hamare paas how we are able to reason ourselves कि हमें ये पर्टिकुलर काम करना है बिहेवियर शो करना है हाउ वी आर डूइंग दैट दैट इज नोन एज अवर मोटिवेशन दैट इज अ मोटिवेशनल फंक्शन ओके नेक्स्ट इज रिवॉर्ड फंक्शन रिवॉर्ड फंक्शन मींस दिस इज अ सेंटर दैट इज सेट टू बी इमीडिएट प्लेजर और अलाउ रिवॉर्ड ये कैसा सेंटर है हमारे ब्रेन का लिम्बिक सिस्टम दैट इज नोन एज अ रिवॉर्ड फंक्शन इज वन फंक्शन That center allows to set an immediate pleasure. जैसे ही हमें कुछ थोड़ा सा अच्छा दिखेगा we see any hope, और हमें थोड़ा सा कुछ प्लेजर दिखेगा तो दे विल ऑटोमेटिकली वी विल गेट द रिवॉर्ड मीन्स हमें उससे खुश हो जाएंगे रिवॉर्ड क्या होगा हमारी खुशी जब हमें कुछ अच्छा होता हुआ दिखेगा ऑटोमेटिकली वी विल बी फील रिवॉर्ड फॉर दैट एंड वी विल श्योर कि हाँ हमें रिवॉर्ड हो दैट इज रिवॉर्ड टू अस because of that particular action next is punishment function punishment function means stimulation in the punishment center are frequently inhibit the reward hamare paas ek punishment center bhi hai hamare brain mein in the limbic system that can frequently inhibit wo kya karta hai uska kaam kya hai that they will inhibit the reward wo reward ko rokega jo hamare paas ye reward function hai usko kaam karne se rokega pleasure center ko kaam karne se rokega khushi jo hame ho rahi hai usko hone se rokega 
एंड डेमोस्ट्रेटिंग द पनिशमेंट और क्या डेमोस्ट्रेट करेगा पनिशमेंट को डेमोस्ट्रेट करेगा कि पनिशमेंट मिले हमें फियर कैन बी वी कैन गिव उसे वो हमें आर एन डर लाएगा फियर वी कैन एबल टू टेक अ फियर एंड वी कैन ओवर साइज अवर प्लेजर और रिवॉर्ड हम उस चीज को भूल जाए जो हमें प्लेजर दे रही है और रिवॉर्ड दे रही है दैट इज अवर पनिशमेंट फंक्शन तो दीज आर अबाउट द फंक्शन वी जस्ट समराइज विद द नेम दैट इज बिहेवियरल सेकेंड इज इमोशनल थर्ड इज मोटिवेशनल देन इज रिवॉर्ड फंक्शन एंड लास्ट इज पनिशमेंट नाउ वी आर मूविंग टू द नर्व टिश्यूज दैट आर देयर इन अवर ब्रेन सो दैट इज न्यूरोन साइनेप्स एंड न्यूरो ट्रांसमीटर्स थ्री थिंग्स आर देयर न्यूरोन साइनेप्स एंड न्यूरो ट्रांसमीटर्स सो फर्स्ट वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द न्यूरो दैट पर्टिकुलर न्यूरोन्स सो हाउ दे लुक लाइक दिस इज द डायग्राम ऑफ न्यूरोन सो दीज आर द डेंड्राइट्स one end is having dendrite second end all knows that it is axon terminals from uh, axon terminals the message will be passed to the dendrites and from the dendrites we will matlab uh, there is this is one end the dendrite is the second end inside this there we will have this uh, dendrites ke andar kya hai cell body hai this our crowd includes the myelin sheath that is uh, axon connections are there so this is the axon terminal at the end nucleus is all present in the uh, cell uh, cell body and uh, we are having uh, shinal cells also so these this is the picture of neuron so central nervous system consists of nerve cells called neurons neurons kya hai hamare central nervous system ke nerve cells hain unko humne name diya hai neuron that generate and transmit इलेक्ट्रोकेमिकल इम्पल्सिस इनका काम क्या है इलेक्ट्रो केमिकल इम्पल्सिस जो है वो पास ऑन करना सो न्यूरोन इज कम्पोज ऑफ सेल बॉडी एक्सॉन एंड डेंड्राइट जैसे हमने अभी पिक्चर में देखा एक साइड क्या है एक्सॉन टर्मिनल है दूसरी साइड क्या है डेंड्राइट है सो दैट इज वन एंड नेक्स्ट इज सेकेंड एंड सो डेंड्राइट आर प्रोसेस दैट ट्रांसमिट इम्पल्सिस टूवर्ड्स द सेल बॉडी अब डेंड्राइट का काम क्या है दैट दे विल ट्रांसमिट द इम्पल्सिस टूवर्ड्स सेल बॉडी एंड एक्सोन का काम क्या है दैट ट्रांसमिट इम्पल्सिस अवे फ्रॉम द सेल बॉडी मीन्स वो सेल बॉडी से ले जाके नेक्स्ट सेल बॉडी को पास करेगा एंड द डेंड्राइट विल टेक द इम्पल्सिस टूवर्ड्स द सेल बॉडी क्योंकि सेल बॉडी हमने कहा देखी थी वी सॉ सेल बॉडी इन डेंड्राइड एरिया ओके then they will pass the information to the axon so next is afferent neurons and efferent neurons neurons are basically first is afferent and second is efferent two types first is afferent neurons that is also known as sensory neurons carry impulses from the periphery to the central nervous system where they can interpret into the various sensations एफरेंट न्यूरोन्स जो होते हैं दैट इज ऑल्सो नोन एज सेंसरी न्यूरोन्स उनका काम क्या है दे विल कैरी द इम्पल्सिस वो इम्पल्सिस लेते हैं कहाँ पास करते हैं टू द सेंटर नर्वस सिस्टम फ्रॉम सॉरी कहाँ से दे विल टेक फ्रॉम द पेरीफ्री टू द पेरीफ्री जो है सेंटर नर्वस सिस्टम की वहां से लेते हैं एंड वेयर दे विल पास टू द इंटरप्रेट इन टू द वेरियस सेंसेशन जहां हमें सेंसेशन फील होनी है वहां तक लेके जाते हैं फॉर एग्जाम्पल आई टच हॉट वाटर बैग एंड इट इज वेरी हॉट सो मुझे वो गर्म फील जो सेंसेशन हो रही है वो कैसे फील हो रही है बिकॉज पेरीफ्री सेंटर नर्वस सिस्टम के जो मेरे पेरीफ्री इम्पल्सिस हैं सेंसरी इम्पल्सिस हैं दे जस्ट इंटरप्टेड वेयर माई सेंसेशन इज देयर वहां तक जाएंगे वो देखेंगे कि हाँ यहाँ पे हॉट है दे विल गिव फास्ट मैसेज बैक टू द माई ब्रेन दैट इट इज हॉट सो इफ्रेंड न्यूरॉन्स क्या है दिस इज सेंसरी न्यूरॉन्स एंड इफ्रेंट न्यूरॉन्स क्या है मोटर न्यूरॉन्स है कैरी इम्पल्सिस फ्रॉम द सेंटर नर्वस सिस्टम ये सेंटर नर्वस सिस्टम से लेते हैं टू एफर्ट टू द पेरीफ्री कहाँ तक लाते हैं पेरीफ्री तक लाते हैं सच एस मसल्स ग्लैंड जहां पे भी हमें कोई मैसेज पास करना है हमारे मसल को ग्लैंड को कि हाँ हमें बैठना है हमें खड़े होना है वट एवर इट इज सो 
uh, that command would be give uh, that message will be passed with the help of motor neurons that is efferent neurons next is synapse synapse kya hai basically it is a junction between two neurons is known as synapse so jab two neurons milte hain to center mein jo connection banta hai jahan pe wo uh, attach hote hain that is known as synapse they play a large uh, part in thinking inka role kya rehta hai they help us in thinking feeling learning language and producing memory so this is basically synapse area this is synaptic area synaptic cleft inside you are able to see so above this is axon terminal and below this is dendrites so they are sharing the information so in between sharing that is known as this is the synaptic cleft and synaptic area okay so next is we are moving to the last topic of this uh, anatomy and physiology of brain that is neurotransmitters okay Uh, till now we just discussed uh, what is the main uh, structure of the brain according to the lobes and what are the functions of lobe then we discuss the limbic system in limbic system we covered the structural part and then we covered the functions of limbic system and neurons what are the neurons efferent efferent neurons also we discussed now we are moving to the neurotransmitters which always play a major role in psychiatry psychiatric mein major role play karte hain so neurotransmitters are the chemicals which allows the transmission of uh, signals from one neuron to the next in the uh, through the synaptic area so these neurotransmitters are necessary in just the right proportion to relay message across the synapse so in neurotransmitter ka kya zaruri hai ki ye right proportion mein ho as we are discussing now when we are discussing any disorder any psychiatric disorder we are discussing then the neurotransmitter dopamine will raise or decrease so and that will be a cause for that particular disorder that's why neurotransmitter has a major role in psychiatric nurse uh, psychiatry that is if they are not in right proportion agar wo right proportion mein nahi hai jo unki amount honi chahiye wahan se zyada hai ya kam hai so they will uh, produce psychiatric symptoms or disorders so they can help so this is just a synaptic picture only which we already discussed that is a representation of the chemical uh, synapse kaise uh, ho raha hai so this is one of the next picture so how the reaction is coming on that is the uh, neurotransmitter reuptake inhibitor will work this is the picture in this a picture it is showing so neurotransmitter receptors are there so post synaptic area is there so how the reaction is going on okay so next is life cycle of the neurotransmitters how they are uh, what is their life cycle so synthesis of neurotransmit uh, sorry synthesis of transmitters synthesis hota hai transmitters ka packaging and storage kahan pe hoti hai ye kahan pe rehte hain basically that is in the synaptic vessels the synaptic vessels may they are depositing wahan pe rehte hain store hote hain if necessary transport uh, from the site of synthesis to the site of release from the nerve terminals fir kya hota hai transmit kahan se karte hain synaptic vessels mein present hai synaptic vessel se agar zarurat jab zarurat padti hai they will be transported from the site of synthesis to the release next terminal end where there is required so release in response to the to an action to so, uske accordingly release hota hai in response to the action potential jo samne se action potential show hota hai unko uske according wo release karte hain theek hai so binding of post synaptic receptors so, next jo jaise ki ye niche jo hai wo post synaptic area hai yahan pe kya hai upper mein jahan pe release likha hua hai in the picture so this is the release area release hone ke baad this is all jahan pe these are the open endings so this is the synaptic area so at the end down stair it is a post synaptic area jahan pe inki binding ho rahi hai kuch free reh jayenge kuch bind ho jayenge so binding hogi jab uh, next protein receptor se then they will work accordingly the termination of action by the diffusion termination kahan se hoga jab yahan pe bind hone ke baad diffuse ho jayenge 
डिस्ट्रक्शन होगी या रीअपटेक हो जाएगा रीअपटेक मीन्स दे आर गोइंग बैक रीअपटेक यू आर एबल टू सी इन द पिक्चर कि वो ऊपर की तरफ रीअपटेक दोबारा होने के लिए मेटाबोलाइज के लिए जा रहे हैं सो दिस इज द लाइफ साइकिल ऑफ द न्यूरो ट्रांसमीटर ओके सो वट आर द रोल इन अवर मेंटल हेल्थ न्यूरो ट्रांसमीटर लेवल्स एंड द इमोशनल हेल्थ हाउ दे आर फंक्शनिंग सो फर्स्ट इज इमोशनल हेल्थ कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ एटीट्यूड बहुत सारे हमारे जितने भी एटीट्यूड हम शो करते हैं हमारी पर्सनैलिटी सपोर्ट सिस्टम अवर ब्रेन न्यूरो ट्रांसमीटर लेवल्स दे ऑल आर रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर अवर इमोशनल हेल्थ हमारी इमोशनल हेल्थ के लिए जरूरी है एंड रिस्पॉन्सिबल है उसको मेंटेन करने के लिए नेक्स्ट इज रिकोगनाइजिंग चेंजेस रिकोगनाइज करना चेंजेस को इम्पॉर्टेंट पार्ट ऑफ द ट्रीटमेंट एंड रिटर्न टू द नॉर्मल एंड रिड्यूसिंग अवर स्ट्रेस रिकोगनाइज अगर हम रिकोगनाइज चेंज करते हैं देन इट इज अ इम्पॉर्टेंट पार्ट ऑफ ट्रीटमेंट देन वी आर एबल टू रिटर्न बैक टू अवर नॉर्मल लाइफ एंड देन वी कैन से अवर स्ट्रेस वुड बी रिलीज हमारा स्ट्रेस भी रिलीज हो जाएगा दिस इज दिद द हेल्प वी कैन एबल टू परफॉर्म बेटर ओके Now we will learn about the neurotransmitter. What are uh, those who are present in the central nervous system? Their locations, functions, and the possible impairment uh, they are causing for mental illness. क्या क्या कौन से neurotransmitter की वजह से कौन सी mental illness होती है? That we were going to discuss. Uh, in you are able to see. That uh, we are uh, discussing like cholinergics in this uh, acetylcholine, monoamines, in which we are having non-epinephrine. So we are discussing the locations also. That is central nervous system and autonomic nervous system. So for almost all neurotransmitters. But if you are not able to remember single single location, so don't worry. आप लोग क्या कर सकते हो? Simply you can write that it is present in Uh, central nervous system uh, as well as in the autonomic nervous system then you can uh, if you are not remembering then you can move on functions and you can have to learn if the level increase what it will cause if the level will decrease what it will cause that you have to learn 100% in psychiatry okay so we are starting with the acetylcholine first one so acetylcholine uh, it's present in the location wise it is present in autonomic nervous system so that is sympathetic and parasympathetic pre uh, synaptic nerve terminals and parasympathetic post synaptic nerve terminals and in the central nervous system in the cerebral cortex hypothalamus limbic structure and basal ganglia what is the role of uh, acetylcholine that is it is responsible for our sleep arousal pain perception how we are perceiving our movements and memory so if the level will increase what it will cause it will cause depression if the level will decrease it will cause alzheimer's disease tinkton's disease and parkinson's disease so next we are moving to the non epinephrine uh, under the classification of monoamines so non epinephrine is uh, in the autonomic nervous system it is present in the uh, sympathetic post synaptic nerve terminal and in the central nervous system this is in the thalamus hypothalamus limbic system hypo uh, campus cerebellum uh, bellum and cerebral cortex and what is the function of non epinephrine it is basically responsible for our mood cognition perception cardiovascular functioning and sleep and arousal so if the level will decrease it will cause depression if the level will increase it will cause it will uh, just one second if the level increase it will cause mania anxiety and schizophrenia okay so this is with non epinephrine next we are moving to the dopamine so in dopamine so it is present in the uh, frontal cortex limbic area basal ganglia thalamus pituitary, uh, pituitary area posterior pituitary and spinal cord 
so what are the function of dopamine it is basically responsible in the uh, maintenance of movement and coordination emotion voluntary judgment release of prolactin okay so if the depression uh, if the level is decreased but it will cause it will cause depression as well as the parkinson's disease it, if the level is increased it will cause mania as well as schizophrenia so next is serotonin so serotonin is it is present in hypothalamus thalamus limbic area cerebral cortex cerebral uh, cerebellum and the spinal cord so the function is uh, sleep arousal lipido appetite mood aggression pain perception coordination judgment in this all things it is responsible so in if the level increase it will cause anxiety status or anxiety disorders so if the level decrease it will cause depression okay so next is histamine histamine is uh, present in hypothalamus basically so it is basically uh, responsible for wakefulness hum jaagte hain theek hai pain sensations and inflammatory response if the level will decrease it will cause depression if the level decrease it will cause depression so next is amino acids so in amino acids gaba is the first uh, that uh, neurotransmitter that is GABA, gaba amino butyric acid so it is present in hypothalamus hippocampus cortex cerebrum velum and basal ganglia spinal cord and retina so it is responsible of slow downing our activity hamari activity ko slow down karta hai so it is present in anxiety disorder basically if its level is decreased it will cause anxiety disorder jab bhi iska level decrease hoga first jo hoga that is anxiety disorder it will uh, the person will diagnose with so next is schizophrenia uh, tingtons disease and the various forms of epilepsy also sometimes we can see the gaba level is decreased so next is grislin that is in the spinal cord and brain it is present and its function is recurrent inhibition of motor neurons motor neurons ko jo hai basically they are uh, responsible in inhibition of that neurons so if the uh, the function is only the toxic level agar toxic hoga first function kya hoga toxic hoga so then we will see this in uh, encephalopathy would be there and if the level is decreased so टॉक्सिस मीन्स इंक्रीज जब इंक्रीज होगा तो ज्यादा एक्सेस लेवल में इंक्रीज होना मीन्स टॉक्सिक सो वेन द लेवल इज डिक्रीज इज विल रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर द को रिलेटेड विद द सनेप्टिक मोटर मूवमेंट्स जो मोटर मूवमेंट्स है उनकी कॉर्डिनेशन में प्रॉब्लम होगी एंड द नेक्स्ट इज ग्लूटामेट एंड एस्पिरेटेट दैट इज इट इज प्रेजेंट इन द cells of the cortex and the cerebellum in the primary sensory afferent systems uh, hippocampus thalamus hypothalamus and the spinal cord so the function main function of these are the relay of sensory information and in the regulation of various motor and uh, spinal reflexes jitne bhi hamare motor and spinal reflexes hamari body mein feel ho rahe hain sensory informations jo hai pass ho rahi hain that is passed by this that is glutamate and aspirate and if the level will increase then it will cause temporal lobe epilepsy intons disease and the spinal uh, spinal cerebral degeneration spinal cord disorder it will cause okay so this is all about the neurotransmitters with this we are uh, concluding today's topic that we discussed about the anatomy physiology of brain according to the psychiatric point of view what are the things we have to cover limbic system we covered the functions of limbic system we covered that uh, usually comes in bsc th uh, third year exam and gnm exam so in the post basic also it will come so thank you so much for listening and uh, if you like uh, and want any other videos you can uh, subscribe my channel and message me i will uh, help you with the other topics with the psychiatric nursing and thank you so much